welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph. If you're new, be sure to go subscribe below and my socials are down there as well. So go check those out too. Today is a, another episode of our taste testing series. I will link last season's down below. Today is season two, episode one, and it's in partnership with the Candy Club. I'm very excited to talk to you guys about them today. I will link all their info down below as well. You can use my discount code Steph15 for 15% off your order. And let me tell you a little bit more about them. So the Candy Club offers individual cups, gift sets, monthly subscriptions and seasonal and holiday collections and they also offer wholesale if you are somebody that's interested in that as well and they are in some of your local shops near you. They offer two sizes, a size small which is 5 to 8 ounces and a size large which is 11 to 13 ounces. On their website when you're looking through their candies and chocolates and everything else they do show you the allergens because some are gluten free, GMO and some of them also are cross contaminated so just keep that in mind when you're shopping. My aunt is gluten free and some of these she can have and some she cannot. They also tell you where each of them are from on the website so some of them are from the US, some of them are from Spain, some of them are from Turkey. That's just their thing and I'm obsessed with it. They currently only ship to the continental US, so as of right now, not to Hawaii and Alaska, but they are planning to advance that this year, so stay tuned for that. I will link their Instagram down below as well, and they offer free shipping on orders over $30, which is super easy to get to if you are a candy lover like myself. And today's theme is sour candies. We have six of them here today, and I'm very excited to talk to you guys about them. Also, they do, like I said, offer chocolate stuff as well, but they actually do not offer the chocolates in the summer months obviously because it's going to be melted by the time you get it so just keep that in mind if you are a chocolate lover and you want to try some of their chocolate things make sure it's not too warm outside first i am also actually going to be doing a giveaway in this video so check out those rules down below i believe it's going to go for about a week maybe a week and a half and you can get any of these candies because I have so many extras to give you guys. All you have to do is subscribe here if you're not already, leave me a comment down below which one that you'd be interested in, and go follow me over on Instagram as well, which is linked in the description box. Good luck. And without further ado, let's get into season two, episode one. So basically how it works is we will each taste one of each one, write down our rating out of 10, and then each of us will say what our rating is and what like we either liked about it or didn't like about it. We'll go in like a different order probably every time and we'll repeat that with each candy. The theme is sour candies. Okay, different so number one is the Sour Robots. They're new, a delicious gummy sour mini bots packed with strawberry, apple, citrus, and blueberry flavors. Take whichever flavor you want. This is, a, this is a robot. This is a robot. Okay. So what flavor did you have? And I had yeah, I had strawberry. So then, and it was good. I like the red, but it's not too sour. It's a, a good amount of sour. Okay. I think I had the citrus because it was orange. Um, I gave it a nine out of ten. I'd say it was a good amount of sour. It was a, a nice gummy bear consistency. And I definitely eat a lot of those. Yeah. It could be a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> blue is blueberry? I think so, yeah. Yeah, blueberry. And I had that. I gave it an 8 out of 10. Just, mm -hmm. it was a good amount of sour, but not enough of the flavor of the fruit. Okay. I feel like blueberry is not a very common flavor in like candies. Mm -hmm. I'd be interested to try that one. I liked them. I had the strawberry also. Mm -hmm. I thought the flavor was mild. It didn't taste like strawberry though. I don't know what it tasted like. It was good, but it wasn't strawberry. Yeah. Um, and I didn't think it was very sour at all. I gave it an oh. 8 out of 10 just because. I enjoyed it. But I yeah. thought it was like a decent amount of sour. I felt like it was definitely sour, but not no. where it's like when you put like it in your mouth and when you're like, oh my god. It's not a sour. Pucker. Yeah. Yeah, when you don't get that pucker. Yeah. Number two is the wild cherry sour belts. So these okay. are also new. And when you can't decide whether to stay sweet or go wild, you don't have to. Cover all your flavor cravings with this scrumptious tart cherry flavored ribbons. <laughs> Oh, that's a Let's break them yeah. out. I'm excited about this one. Okay, there's a two. What are those flavors? Okay. Cherry. It's cherry. Cheers. Cheers. Wild cherry. Wild. Mm. Okay. I can start with this one. Okay. I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. It's a subtle but strong flavor. And I actually really, really like that flavor. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's not very sour though. It's kind of a very mild, like how you feel like those crystals on it. 
when you have something sour, but it wasn't super sour. But I really like the flavor of it. So I don't know if the flavor was just a combination of the cherry and the sour, but I really like those ones. I could definitely have a lot of it. Good. I gave it a seven out of 10. I didn't think it had enough flavor. Okay. It wasn't very sour and it had a weird aftertaste. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. I like the flavor. Uh, I like the flavor. I didn't taste the wild cherry until I sucked on it a little longer. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think it was sour at all. I gave it an 8 out of 10. I, I didn't have any aftertaste. That's yeah, I didn't have any aftertaste. I like the cherry though. Um, yeah, I, I gave it like the cherry. No, 9 out of 10. I like the cherry flavor. I like cherry and the little the sugar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, aftertaste didn't really taste good. I don't know, I didn't get any. I don't know, it's like so weird. weird. <laughs> Next is the Watermelon Gems, which are also a new one. So obviously they're green. Mm -hmm. They are gummy gems with a delightful sweet tart watermelon flavor. I really like watermelon gummies, so I'm excited. Yeah. I give that an 8 out of 10. I don't know, I liked it. They're like perfect size too. You can definitely eat a lot of them. But it was like a weird watermelon taste. I don't know, it was different. It yeah. was different because it was green. So I thought it was good. Very mild flavor. I gave it a 5 out of 10. I would eat them again, but it's a very mild flavor. And I don't know really what else to say about it. I gave it a 9 out of 10 because it didn't have a really strong flavor and I don't like watermelon, but I liked oh, it. Okay. But I liked it. Okay. I gave it a seven out of ten. The flavor was <laughs> the flavor was pleasant, but it was not. It didn't taste like watermelon no. to me at all. I, I don't know. I, it, I, it I don't know if it tasted like watermelon to me or not. No, I not couldn't really, I don't know. And it was really squishy. I had to literally yeah, bite it. Yeah, it was, it was it like wasn't interesting like texture. Yeah, like when you chew it. Okay, next one is Ooh. sour strawberries. They are a fresh strawberry taste dusted mm. with a mouth puckering sour sugar. These sour strawberry gummies are sure to become a household favorite. They look. Fabulous. They are a slightly bigger size than the last couple. Oh, it actually looks like a strawberry. Oh, it like smells. Cheers. It like smells oh. like cold and fresh, doesn't it? Okay. Let's yeah. see both sides. Cheers. Okay, now we gotta taste both sides. Um, well, it's not strawberry. Um, I can't exactly define the flavor. I'm not a fan. Oh, what do you rate it? <laughs> I was generous. I gave it a 3 out of 10. Okay. Um, it wasn't sour. It wasn't tart. The flavor wasn't mild. I just don't know what it was. Okay. Does that make sense? Right. <laughs> I gave it a 4 out of 10. Okay. Same thing. I didn't, couldn't quite tell that it was strawberry. It had a weird taste yeah. and it was way too chewy. Okay. I mean, it was... I it think it helps to have too, like so. a different demographic here also. Yes. Uh, I gave it a seven and a half out of ten. I I can honestly understand why it was a household fave. I can't yeah put on the spot if it was strawberry flavor or not. I very much enjoyed the flavor of it. It's definitely not very sour, which I didn't mind, but I liked the flavor a lot. I didn't think it was too chewy. I think it was bigger obviously, but I liked like the one or two. Yeah, I gave it a five. Uh, it doesn't taste well. I can't even tell you what it was. I don't know either, but really it's I liked it. Like, I taste like strawberry. But yeah, well, I, like I was it. thinking like, like a fresh strawberry. Yeah. Like that's oh, what it's smell good. Next are the pink piglets. These are a bestseller. Go ham like piglets. these adorable gummy piggies infused with sweet tart berry flavor. These little piglets pack serious okay. lip smacking power to make you squeal with delight. Alright. Okay. I'm ready to try. Where they smell, they have a strong smell. Well, maybe they'll have a stronger flavor. Oh yeah. Yeah. The pink, pink piglets, piglets. Yeah. sour piglets. raspberry gummy. That's what I can smell raspberry. Yeah. Alright, I'm sorry. Give that an 8 out of 10. Um, I don't know, they were very chewy. Mm. And they were bigger, but um, the flavor was good. I gave them an eight and a half out of 10. They are extremely <clears throat> chewy. They're not sticky, but they're very chewy. They did have a strong flavor, which I like. I kind of understand why they're a bestseller. I really, really like the flavor. I feel like raspberry flavoring and like candy can go either way sometimes. Mm -hmm. I would definitely have those again. I really like those. Yeah. I gave it a nine out of 10. Good flavor, but it wasn't really too tart. So yeah. it's good. Yeah. I gave them a 9 out of 10. That's my favorite so far. I can mm. not only smell the raspberry, I can taste the raspberry. They were chewy, yeah. chewy, but I like the tartness and it actually had a lot of flavor on it. Okay, last one. It's the Blue Raz Sour mm. Belts. 
These are also a bestseller, a berry-rific mix of sweet and tart bliss. These chewy blue raspberry belts come dusted with a totally tasty, perfectly pucker-induced sour sugar coating. <sighs> kind of smells like bubblegum. Maybe that's what they make these things from. <laughs> you always know, seem to get the like long ones. I know. Maybe they make them from like a... Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> I give it a 9 out of 10. I liked it. It was definitely tart. It was more, the more tarty ones than the other ones. Um, and I liked the flavor. The blue flavor was very good. I don't know. Was it blue hazard? Yeah. Yeah, I liked the flavor and the sugar, of course, all over it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that was good. I give it an 8 out of 10. It was a tad sour, but not too much. Mm. It was definitely, I'd say, maybe one of the most sour ones of the six. Um, it's a good flavor. It did taste like blue raspberry. I thought it was a good amount of flavor. You could definitely tell what it was. And it felt very like light in a way. Like mm -hmm. you could not like, mm -hmm. fill up on yeah. it. Yeah. So I gave it a 7 out of 10. It was, I thought it was just a good amount of tart, but I didn't think it had enough of the flavor, the fruit flavoring. Um, I could definitely taste the blue raspberry. <clears throat> I didn't think it was very sour or tart as you want to call it. Um, I gave it an 8 out, of, 8 out of 10. I have to read my notes. But I did enjoy it and it was light because it was thin. Yeah, they know exactly about the others. So yeah. I, I did like that one. That's that's up in the top two. Okay, so now we're going to take turns putting them in order from our favorite to least favorite, whether we liked them all or didn't like them all. If they are tied, you can just put them next to each other. But Olivia will start that. So favorite to least favorite. Yeah. Uh, these are my favorite, and I like how you can have all different flavors you can try, not just one flavor. That's pretty nice. And they're the perfect size. Um, the blue Raz, I love those. Those are like light. Um, and love the flavor of those. Same with these. It's like the same thing, but these are cherry. These pink piglets, these are pretty good because I like raspberry and those have good flavoring. The watermelon. This was okay. I didn't really taste watermelon and I didn't like the green. And then I did not like these first, these strawberries. It didn't taste like strawberries. Okay. It tasted great. So, <clears throat> my favorite was the wild cherry sour belts. Um, I really liked the, cha the cherry flavor. Um, I thought it was just enough flavor. I didn't think it was too sweet. I just liked everything about them. The pink piglets I had next, they were very chewy, but I liked the, again, the strong flavor of them. And I liked the overall candy more than the blue raspberry ones, which I had next. Um, again, I like the blue raspberry flavor, but I think I just liked the, I think this is what raspberry, right? Yeah. I think I liked the raspberry flavor more than the blueberry. The strawberry, the sour strawberries I had next. Again, I liked the flavor, whether it was strawberry or not, I liked the flavor of it. Um, I didn't think it was too sour, but I liked the chewiness of it. I liked the flavor, whatever it was, even though it didn't seem like it was very strawberry. The sour robots, I had the citrus one, so maybe that's why I put it fifth. Yeah. I'm not really a citrus person, but I do like how Olivia said how there's a bunch of different flavors you can kind of choose from, so you can kind of share them with other people if you want. And then I put the, what is this, the watermelon? The watermelon jam was at last. I didn't think it was that much flavor. The chewiness was okay. I would have them if they were sitting out at a party, but wouldn't mm. be my first choice. Oh, okay. oh interesting. Yeah, different. Okay, All Heather, right. walk us through. So, <laughs> the pink piglets and the, uh, the, the watermelon. watermelon I but liked them equally for different reasons. Okay. The watermelon, I thought it had a good flavor. Okay. And I thought the pink piglets had a good flavor too, but they weren't too sour. Okay. Then it's the sour robots. Yes. I like them, but thought they didn't have enough flavor. Then the blue raspberry. Oh, you had in the cherry you had. Oh, is this wrong? The white, no, they're the same. The wild okay. cherry. Oh, okay. And the blue raspberry, I liked them equally. Okay. The wild cherry, I thought it had a weird aftertaste though. And the blue raz, I thought was a nice tart, but 
didn't have enough of the flavor. Okay. And the one I liked the least was the strawberry because I thought it had a weird taste. It didn't taste like strawberry. Okay. And you didn't like that taste either? No. Okay. The, the pigs were my favorite. I thought they had the most flavor. Um, they were a little chewy compared to some of the others, but I really liked them. Uh, the citrus, I had the, was it cherry? Or the red, I had the red ones, so I don't oh, the know. the sour robot. Yeah. Had yeah. The strawberry. strawberry. Right, yeah. so I don't know what the others tasted like, but I really liked the yeah. strawberry one I had. Um, the blue raspberry, I thought, had an awful lot of flavor, and I liked it, and it was light. I did not, I did not taste an aftertaste, like the two of you. Yeah. Either or um, uh, with the with the cherry one either, um, and this had I wish it had more flavor to it, but it was it was still good. The watermelon, I didn't really think it had a lot of strong flavor in it, and, and this was a weird gooey mm -hmm. texture thing. <laughs> it, was very it, it, remind, it reminds me of those gummies from uh, last season with the what like look like the nerves yeah. that were on the outside. Yeah. Do you um, remember those? Oh, yeah, 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 I do. And then these ones here, these they didn't taste like strawberry. I couldn't identify the flavor. No, I didn't um, and I, mm. I really did not like the the texture. It was hard. It wasn't a chewy. It was just like oh, firm. Okay. Yeah, I really didn't like those, but I do like the others. All right, so I think for the most part, we all really liked the pink piglets. I think we should each just try like one the other flavor. I'm going to try the strawberry because that's what I would normally like. Probably apple, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. well, I like and, you know, I was guessing, yeah. I was wondering what Shops color was going to be apple, okay. and that makes sense. Orange. The orange is supposed to be what? what is this one? Citrus. Is it citrus? Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Is yellow lemon? Yellow. Mmm. Oh, what's yours taste like? Apple. So then what's yellow? Citrus also? What does it taste like? Well, the, <clears throat> tastes mine, like, like an orange lemonade taste. Mine tastes like orange. I had it's the orange. Well, orange yeah, that's good. citrus. So maybe the yellow and the orange are like different citruses. That was good. Yeah, cool. so I really liked that one a lot more. I think it's just because I'm not usually a citrus person, mm -hmm. and so that's the one I had. But I liked the strawberry, which is the one that I was had. I did, so that's the citrus. Was yeah, it was. Flavor. The orange yeah. I thought was very strong, but okay. it was good. Nah. I don't remember where each of us put this one, but I think for the most part we kind of yeah. liked it. I might, I might go with that now. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think I had like a perfect yeah, second one. Yeah. I think it was I had my this, second too, but now I'm thinking. Hmm. I think I had this more near the end, but yeah, I would still eat it again. And I really liked the strawberry okay. flavor, so I think it just depends on. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of flavors. Maybe that's one that you you know put out for a party. Yeah. It's, it's nice. So a bunch right of course. different flavors. Get the flavors you like. I think overall we didn't love these, which is um really strange because I usually love strawberry, yeah, but I think it's because like it wasn't a huge strawberry taste. Yeah. I personally liked the flavor of them, even though it wasn't strawberry, but it doesn't seem like any of them. Mm. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what these ones like. That was a texture thing. That was the really really chewy ones. Yeah. It's like a super chewy gum. And I think it tastes like yeah. watermelon, but it's a very subtle flavor. I think we all, except for Heather, I think kind of had that one near the end. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you like, I you like, that. like this. Yeah. Just because it doesn't taste much like watermelon, and I don't like watermelon. Well, mm. <laughs> <Like>, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then I think if we were to choose from the two of these, I like the wild cherry one better. No, I like the blue one. I, like I think the blue rouse has more flavor yeah. than the cherry. I like them equally. Except for the aftertaste from the cherry. This one had an aftertaste, yeah. but this yeah, one they, had an aftertaste from the blue grass. Not with this one. Though. It's so weird. I didn't, like, so I don't know. I didn't aftertaste. feel that aftertaste at all. Oh. But I liked the cherry flavor of it. Mm. All right. Well, I like cherry, but I can have an aftertaste. All right. Well, today's theme was sour, so be sure to come back. They have chocolates and other gummies that we will be sure to be test taste testing, because who doesn't love mm -hmm. taste testing candy and chocolate? I'm very excited. But I will link all their information down below. You guys can use my code STEF15 for 15% off. You get free shipping on orders over $30. Thank you to the Candy Club for working with us on this video, and come back for episode two. Bye, guys. 96 calories. 120. I smashed these nails up like four times already. Like somehow they haven't ripped. Chocolate animal crackers? I want to try that. Interesting. Like the chocolate dipped graham crackers. That I told her, I, I, I said, I said, don't have that. She gets this voice in this face that she does. I, I <laughs> see it. I wonder what we're doing because they can't see it. <laughs> they're going to have such a sugar high. Yeah. I know. Is this recording? So we'll take over there. Maybe that's what they make these things. <laughs> you don't think you can get the like long the one? What's, yeah, what's the, what was the bubble gum that was in this? Yum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. They look like blue strips of bacon. It's like candy that... No, but it smells like bubble gum. Interesting. Different. I think blueberries don't have a lot of flavor as it is. I feel like I'm on the show.